Welcome to the 2023 Diaper Distribution Demonstration and Research Pilot Notice of Funding Opportunity Pre-Application Presentation. This presentation provides prospective applicants of the Diaper Distribution Demonstration and Research Pilot with details about the 2023 grant competition. Throughout this presentation, the Diaper Distribution Demonstration and Research Pilot will be referred to as the Diaper Distribution Pilot. It is also listed as DDDRP in the Notice of Funding Opportunity, or NOFO. Please note, in the event of a discrepancy between this presentation and the NOFO, the NOFO takes precedence. The 2023 Diaper Distribution Pilot NOFO is now available on the Diaper Distribution Pilot Grants webpage of the Administration for Children and Families website. The Administration for Children and Families will be referred to as ACF throughout this presentation. The Office of Community Services, also known as OCS, wants to bring to your attention some important details about the 2023 Diaper Distribution Pilot Grant Competition. Each of these details is discussed in Section 4, Application and Submission Information, and will be discussed in more detail in this presentation. ACF requires applications to be electronically submitted via www.grants.gov. The deadline for electronic application submission is 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on August 8, 2023. The deadline for receipt of paper applications is 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on this date. Keep in mind, to submit a paper application, you must obtain a waiver in advance. Each applicant may only upload two electronic files, one for the project description and another for the appendices. All project application materials must be included in these two files. Additional files that are loaded into grants.gov as part of the project description or appendices, such as resumes, business plan site control, will be removed from the competitive review file and not reviewed by the panel. The exceptions to this are the standard forms and OMB approved forms, which will not be counted as additional files. Carefully note the file naming conventions required by www.grants.gov. Limit file names to 50 characters, which includes characters and spaces. Adobe Acrobat is compatible with use for Grants.gov. However, we recommend using the Grants.gov compatible version of Adobe Reader software. Read the troubleshooting page on Grants.gov for more information. OCS is excited to kick off the 2023 Diaper Distribution Pilot Grant Competition. The NOFO is available at the URL listed on this slide. To start off today's presentation, we will talk a bit about the Diaper Distribution Pilot. The purpose of the Diaper Distribution Pilot is to evaluate the ability of community action agencies, also known as CAAs, social service agencies, and or other nonprofit community organizations, also known as NPOs, to provide diapers and diapering supplies on a consistent basis through diaper distribution programs, while also offering wraparound support services for families with low incomes. An evaluation accompanying the program will study the implementation and or impact of additional funding for diapers on families, partnering organizations, and the greater community. As a reminder, as we dive into the details of this NOFO, in the event of a discrepancy between this presentation and the NOFO, the NOFO takes precedence. The following types of organizations are eligible to receive direct awards from the diaper distribution pilot. Community Services Block Grant, or CSBG, state associations. Tribes that were funded directly by CSBG in fiscal year 2023. And CSBG funded territories. Please see Appendix A of the NOFO for a list of eligible organizations. Applications from individuals, including sole proprietorships, and foreign entities are not eligible and will be disqualified from competitive review and funding under this funding opportunity. See Section 3.3, Other, Application Disqualification Factors. The focus of the program is to scale up existing diaper distribution programs where families can receive diapers on a consistent or regular basis and maximize diaper distribution to diverse families with low incomes in various service areas and geographic regions. Funds from this award may be used within the five areas for diapers and diapering supply needs described in Section 1, Program Description, Subsection D, Activities. Recipients will be required to implement projects that have a thorough plan for value-added activities in each of the following five areas. 
1. Establishing partnerships with local service organizations with current diaper distribution programs. Note. Tribal recipients can utilize local existing diaper distribution programs operating within the structure of the tribal government and or the jurisdiction of the tribe. 2. Expanding existing diaper distribution programs. 3. Providing training and technical assistance, or T and TA, to partners to expand and or strengthen existing diaper distribution programs, including providing wraparound services to program beneficiaries. 4. Facilitating bulk purchasing and efficient transportation of diapers and diapering supplies using economies of scale models. 5. Actively supporting the federal evaluation and ACF's evaluation contractor and encouraging partners to do the same. As a reminder, funds for this program may only be used for expenses associated with diaper and diapering supply needs. Recipients will be required to design and implement their diaper distribution pilot so that it reflects the following principles. Pilot programs must have as a central feature the distribution of diapers and diapering supplies to participating low-income families on a consistent, regular basis, for example, bi-weekly or monthly, as opposed to an ad hoc approach. Programs must ensure that diapers are distributed to each participating family at least once every two months, but preferably more often. Programs must also ensure that they take into consideration the changing sizes and needs of children from month to month and adjust diaper supply orders accordingly. Pilot programs must offer diaper distribution services to families or individuals who need them regardless of the age of the child. For example, families with young children, families with individuals with disabilities, and or special needs. To ensure valid, reliable, and replicable results of this research demonstration, pilot programs should limit diaper purchasing for children under the age of 18. Recipients must design and implement their pilot programs with the consideration for the ultimate environmental impact of the program's activities. Recipients must prioritize equity in the design and implementation of their pilot programs. The following are examples of possible activities eligible under the program and are not meant to be definitive or exhaustive. Purchasing, transporting, and storing diapers and diapering supplies and planning the logistics of such activities. Organizing and facilitating regular diaper distribution or delivery to participating families. Collecting data and other information about the implementation of the program in order to improve performance. Providing T and TA to community partners related to the efficient and effective operation and expansion of their diaper distribution programs. As a reminder, funds for this program may only be used for expenses associated with diaper and diapering supply needs. Recipients under this program may opt to transfer a portion of substantive programmatic work to other organizations through subawards. The prime recipient must maintain a substantive role in the project. ACF defines a substantive role as conducting activities and or providing services funded under the award that are necessary and integral to the completion of the project. Subrecipient monitoring activities alone do not constitute a substantive role. Furthermore, ACF does not fund awards where the role of the applicant is primarily to serve as a conduit for passing funds to other organizations unless that arrangement is authorized by statute. Additionally, all subrecipients must obtain a unique entity identifier UEI, number assigned by the System for Award Management SAM, if they do not already have one. Prime recipients are required to check SAM to verify that the subrecipient is not debarred, suspended, or ineligible. Diaper distribution pilot funds may not be used for the following purposes. To cover the costs of organized fundraising, including financial campaigns, endowment drives, solicitation of gifts and bequests, and similar expenses incurred to raise capital or obtain contributions. Proposal costs, pre-award costs, construction, purchase of real property, or major renovation. Section 1, Program Description includes more information on ineligible activities. As described in Section 3.2, Cost Sharing or Matching, recipients are required to meet a non-federal share of the project cost. The funding is to be used for making grants to states and public and other organizations and agencies for paying part of the cost of research or demonstration projects. Recipients must provide at least 9% of the total approved cost of the project. The total approved cost of the project is the sum of the ACF federal share and the non-federal share. The non-federal share may be met by cash or in-kind contributions, although recipients are encouraged to meet their match requirements through cash contributions. 
For example, in order to meet the match requirements, a project requesting $1.2 million in ACF federal funds must provide a non-federal share of the approved total project cost of at least $118,681, which is 9% of the total approved project cost of $1,318,681. Prospective applicants should also note the important post-award requirements outlined in Section 6.3. Recipients of funding under the diaper distribution pilot are required to submit reports periodically throughout their project period. These forms include the Performance Progress Report, or the PPR, is submitted quarterly throughout the project. Financial reports are also submitted quarterly. As noted in Section 2, Federal Award Information for Fiscal Year 2023 $8.4 million is available to fund diaper distribution pilot projects. The maximum award level for individual projects this year is $1.2 million. The award floor is $800,000. The length of each project is one 24-month project period with one 24-month budget period. OCS anticipates funding approximately seven diaper distribution pilot projects for fiscal year 2023. Now, we will discuss some of the general format requirements for submitting an application, as discussed in Section 4, Application and Submission Information of the NOFO. It is very important to read Section 4.2, Content and Form of Application Submission, very closely. All applications must be submitted electronically using www.grants.gov. Applicants are required to submit their applications electronically unless they have received an exemption that will allow submission in paper format. See Section 4.2, Application Submission Options, for information on requesting an exemption. Keep in mind, there may be some differences in application formatting and submission requirements for paper applications, so pay close attention to those requirements in the NOFO. For this presentation, we will focus on the requirements for electronic applications. All applications, both paper and electronic, must be double-spaced and use 12-point font in Times New Roman, except for footnotes, which may be 10-point Times New Roman. The parts of the application that may have different formatting requirements are listed on this slide and in the NOFO. All applicants must submit and upload all required elements and supporting documentation in two files, the project description and the appendices. Applications must be submitted in two files and must not exceed a combined total of 75 pages. In both files, all items must be labeled, numbered, and organized clearly in the table of contents. Details about the items included in the project description and appendices can be found in Section 4.2, Page Limitations, and Content for All Submission Formats. These two files and page limitations do not include standard forms or OMB-approved forms. An example of such a form is the SF-424. These forms will be submitted separately as directed in the online system. Applications with additional files will be amended, and files will be removed from the review. ACF recommends that electronic applications be uploaded as portable document files, PDFs. ACF recommends merging documents electronically rather than scanning multiple documents into one document manually, as scanned documents may have reduced clarity and readability. In the next two slides, we will discuss the details of what these two files must include. As noted in Section 4.2, Page Limitations and Content for All Submission Formats, the project description file must include the items presented on this slide. All items must be labeled, numbered, and organized clearly in the table of contents. Keep in mind, this is the narrative of your application, and it may include references to supporting documentation that may be included in the appendices file. In such instances, applicants should provide clear references using item name, location, and page numbers. For example, you may include a reference to the letters of support that are included in the application, and then include the actual letters in the appendices file. As noted in Section 4.2, Page Limitations and Content for All Submission Formats, the appendices file must include the items presented on this slide. All items must be labeled, numbered, and organized clearly in the table of contents. Keep in mind, all submissions, inclusive of the project description and appendices, are limited to 75 pages total. It is extremely important for applicants to read the NOFO very closely and submit all of the required information and forms outlined in the announcement. 
This information determines an applicant's eligibility for diaper distribution pilot grant funding. If applicants fail to include any of the requested information, it will reduce or eliminate their chance of receiving a diaper distribution pilot grant. Additionally, it is strongly encouraged that applicants review the definition of terms and utilize the checklist provided in the Notice of Funding Opportunity to ensure all required materials have been submitted. Applicants can find the definition of terms in Section 1 of the NOFO and the checklist in Section 8. We will now review the application requirements that reviewers will consider in reviewing the applications. Displayed on the screen are the seven criteria on which applications will be evaluated, along with their maximum point values. We will discuss each in more detail. The first criterion, worth a maximum of eight points, is project relevance and current need. In reviewing this section, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application establishes a clear need for the project as outlined in Section 4.2 content and form of application submission. Specifically, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application meets the following criteria. 1. The application demonstrates the applicant's clear understanding of the nature and scope of the issues surrounding diaper need among families with low incomes, generally as well as within the geographic area of service contemplated by the application. 2. The application uses both quantitative and qualitative data, including data on unserved and underserved populations to identify the need for diapers and diapering supplies among families with low incomes within the geographic area of service contemplated by the application. 3. The application demonstrates how the applicant prioritized equity in the design of their proposed project. The next criterion, Goals, Objectives, and Outcomes, is worth a maximum of 9 points. In reviewing this section, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application outlines in a clear and concise manner major goals and objectives for the project that are attainable and able to address and respond to the stated need. Includes proposed outcomes for the project that are clear, realistic, quantifiable, measurable, and consistent with the program goals as stated in this funding opportunity. Adequately describes the characteristics of the proposed service area or state, including the scope, size, demographics, geography, etc., and presents good arguments for why this particular service area would make it a good candidate to test this demonstration project. Demonstrates how the applicant has designed their pilot program with a consideration for the ultimate environmental impact. The approach is worth a maximum 53 points, with each subcriterion being worth 7, 8, or 10 points. When reviewing the approach section of an application, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application meets the following criteria. First, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application demonstrates partnerships with a variety of community partners, such as local service organizations, including at least one CAA and one social services agency and or other nonprofit community organizations with experience operating a current diaper distribution program. For the purposes of tribal applicants, community partners can be defined as local diaper distribution programs operating within the structure of the tribal government and or the jurisdiction of the tribe. The points range from 0 to 10 points. Second, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application demonstrates how the applicant will work with their community partners to grow and strengthen an existing network of diaper distribution programs in their state or region of focus, and ensuring that participating families have access to sufficient diapers and related diaper supplies on an ongoing, regular basis, that is, at least every other month. For the purposes of tribal applicants, Tribes should demonstrate how they will perform this activity with existing local diaper distribution programs operating within their tribal government and or the jurisdiction of the tribe. The points range from 0 to 10 points. Third, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application describes how the applicant will work with their community partners to grow and strengthen the current level of available support services in conjunction with the growth of diaper distribution activities, the types of support services to be provided to program beneficiaries, and how this expansion will benefit program participants and help them move to a higher level of economic independence. For the purposes of tribal applicants, tribes should demonstrate how they will perform this activity with existing local diaper distribution programs operating within their tribal government and or the jurisdiction of the tribe. The points range from 0 to 10 points. Fourth, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application includes a plan for how the applicant will provide T and TA to their community partners related to the efficient and effective operation and expansion of the partner's diaper distribution programs, including the expansion of available wraparound services, and demonstrates that the applicant has the capacity for delivering T and TA. The points range from 0 to 8 points. 
Fifth, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application describes how the applicant plans to take advantage of economies of scale and work with their community partners in the efficient and effective purchase and distribution of diapers and diapering supplies to families with low incomes. For the purposes of tribal applicants, tribes must describe how they plan to take advantage of economies of scale to ensure efficient and effective purchasing and distribution of diapers and diapering supplies to families with low incomes within their tribal jurisdiction. The points range from 0 to 7 points. Sixth, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application outlines a reasonable and realistic schedule for the purchase, allocation, transport, and distribution of diapers and diaper supplies that meets the needs of the families being served by the program demonstrates that the applicant considered the range of ages, sizes, and needs, such as hypoallergenic products, of the beneficiaries of their logistics schedule, demonstrates how they have considered the need to serve diverse geographic areas in their state or jurisdiction, such as urban or rural, and includes a plan for how they will revisit the schedule on a regular basis and incorporate learnings and lessons from the operation of the programs. The points range from 0 to 8 points. The next criterion is evaluation, worth a maximum of six points. In reviewing this section, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application describes how the applicant will be able to fully support the federal evaluation of the pilot at every phase of the project by conducting regular surveys, encouraging and supporting the full participation of their partners and the program's beneficiaries in evaluation activities, and carrying out other activities as requested by the federal office and the evaluation contractor. The next criterion is organizational capacity, worth a maximum of 15 points. In reviewing this section, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application demonstrates that the applicant has the experience and expertise to carry out the activities proposed and that the proposed project director, key staff, and or consultants have the background, experience, and other qualifications required to carry out their designated roles identifies the community partners with which the applicant will partner and demonstrates that they have the collective experience, resources, expertise, and authority to achieve the project outcomes, including already established diaper distribution programs and wraparound support services. For the purposes of tribal applicants, community partners can be defined as existing local diaper distribution programs operating within the structure of the tribal government and or the jurisdiction of the tribe includes MOUs, or letters of commitment, from community partners that demonstrate their clear commitment to the project, explicitly state their commitment to their full participation in the evaluation, and reference their areas of responsibility that are consistent with their intended roles and contributions as described in the project narrative. For the purposes of tribal applicants, tribes are not required to submit MOUs, or letters of commitment, from partners external to the tribal government and or tribal jurisdiction. The next criterion is budget and budget narrative and justification, worth a maximum of 9 points. In this section, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application contains a budget and a budget narrative justification that are clear and easy to understand, aligned and consistent with the project proposal, provide detailed justifications for the amounts requested, are reasonable and feasible with respect to the resources requested for each activity, Outline reasonable time commitments for the proposed project director and other key personnel that are sufficient to assure proper direction, management, and timely completion of the project. Propose salaries for the project director and other key project personnel that are reasonable and justified, and Outline costs that are program-related and commensurate with the types and range of activities and services to be conducted and the expected goals and objectives. Additionally, reviewers will consider the extent to which the application contains a budget, in a budget narrative, justification, that demonstrate a commitment and a description of the required cost sharing equal to a minimum of 9% of the total cost of the project. For bonus points, the full point range is not available. Applications will either receive 0 or 3 points. In reviewing bonus points, community engagement, reviewers will consider whether the application describes how families with low incomes from the communities to be served will be involved in the design, implementation, in operation of the proposed pilot project, including how they participated in the development of the application itself. Now, we will discuss the process for submitting your diaper distribution pilot application. More information on the process is found in Section 4, Application and Submission Information, of the NOFO. Both first-time and repeat applicants are strongly encouraged to review this information well in advance of the application deadline, as OCS will not be able to extend the deadline.
All applications must be received by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on the due date via Grants.gov. Applications submitted after this deadline will not be reviewed. All applicants must complete three registrations in order to submit a grant application. Unique Entity Identifier, or UEI, System for Award Management, SAM, Registration Updated Annually, and Grants.gov Registration. Please note that the registration process for Grants.gov can take up to 10 days, so all applicants are strongly encouraged to review this information well in advance of the application deadline. Applications submitted by an Authorized Organizational Representative, or AOR, that do not have current registrations will be rejected by Grants.gov. For detailed guidance on how to register and update registration for all three systems, please visit the Register and Get Ready resource available on the ACF website at the URL listed on this slide. If you encounter any trouble submitting your application, you must obtain a ticket number directly from the Grants.gov help desk. A ticket number is required for all waiver requests. ACF may extend an application due date and receipt time when circumstances such as natural disasters occur such as floods, hurricanes, etc., when there are widespread disruptions of mail service or in other rare cases. The determination to extend or waive due date and receipt time requirements rests with ACF's Chief Grants Management Officer. Applications are required to be submitted electronically at www.grants.gov unless they have received an exemption in writing from the ACF Grants Officer. Details about how to obtain waivers are described in the announcement under Section 4.2. If a waiver is granted, Hard copy applications are due 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Refer to the announcement for the address to submit application. Applicants submitting applications electronically do not need to provide additional copies of their application materials. Electronically submitted applications will be considered late and disqualified if the date or timestamp is after 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on the due date. Detailed instructions on submitting applications electronically are available on the Grants.gov website. Again. More information on the process is found in Section 4, Application and Submission Information. Now, we will discuss the details of the application review process as discussed in Section 5, Application Review Information of the NOFO. The NOFO discusses the application review process in Section 5.2, Review and Selection Process. Every application received from an eligible applicant organization will be reviewed if it is submitted on time and as long as the request is not over the maximum funding level of $1,200,000. No more than two files will be provided to the panel to read and review. Once an application passes the initial screening, it will be reviewed and scored based on its responsiveness to the evaluation criteria in Section 5 of the Notice of Funding Opportunity. It will be reviewed and scored by a panel composed of non-federal social service professionals. The application will be reviewed for content and completeness. Therefore, a very important aspect of the application is the inclusion of all documentation needed to support written statements. The easiest way to make certain your organization is covering all of the bases is by submitting all of the elements in the application checklist presented in Section 8, Other Information, of the NOFO. Again, more detail on the application review process can be found in the NOFO in Section 5.2, Review and Selection Process. Highly ranked applications are not guaranteed funding. Reviewers' scores weigh heavily in the funding decisions, but they are not the only factor considered. There are several other important factors also taken into consideration. The NOFO includes several factors ACF and OCS will consider when making awards. The OCS director has discretion to make all final funding decisions. Again, the NOFO discusses the application review process in full detail in Section 5.2, Review and Selection Process. Announcement of awards and the disposition of applications will be provided to applicants at a later date. ACF staff cannot respond to requests for information regarding funding decisions prior to the official applicant notification. All applicants who are funded will be notified by email no later than September 30, 2023, from Grant Solutions. Grant Solutions is a comprehensive grants management system provided by the Grants Center of Excellence. Applications recommended for approval in the objective review process but not selected for award may receive funding if additional funds become available in the current fiscal year. For those applications determined as approved but unfunded, notice will be given of the determination by email. More on the award process can be found in Section 6, Federal Award Administration Information of the NOFO. 
several reference websites are included in the NOFO that may be of use in putting together an application. These websites are also listed on this slide. This concludes our presentation on the 2023 Diaper Distribution Pilot Notice of Funding Opportunity.